Hey, Rhodes, Rhodes, I gotta talk to you. What's up? So here's what's happening. I had a word with uh, Slacks and everybody last night. It's game time, okay? Here's what, what we're sense? doing. I wanna start getting people together because we have obviously a major, major staffing issue. Okay, I think everybody sees mm -hmm. it. So I talked to Slacks. I talked to, uh, you know, I, I, sent, I sent a couple messages upstate. We're gonna get the band back together, okay? Hey, really? Yeah. I think I, I wanna get a list of 10 folks who wanna go and come in here who are capable of FTOing, and we're gonna fast track them to FTO so that that way we can recruit more cadets and we can get people going and get the damn ball rolling. Because I feel like we're dadgum five years behind everybody else in the city. So that's the game plan right now. So I've got so far Mac. I saw Espinos last night. Uh, I mean, Bison. you heard he was being shoehorned into dispatch, right? Well, he don't want to be in that position. He said he would do it just because he loves PD so damn much. And that's that's who he is. That's what he wants to do. To me, it's a dadgum shame if we don't have those kind of guys here. The people that want right. to be here. Barrick, if you had to spit fire solid FTOs from years ago, who do you think it would be? Ziggy. Who else? I'm missing somebody. Ziggy's a good one. That is correct. Uh, Madison, probably. Frost. You know, I'm just... Pretty much strictly going ship three at this point. Mm -hmm. I, man, I, I I hate what happened to Ripley. You know, turning into a damn clown, losing his damn mind. I, I really wish this would have happened before all that. I, I would I would absolutely love to have Ripley back here. Same. Ripley is a massive, massive loss to the yeah, PD. Yeah, he is. He is, 100%. He became the very thing that he sought to destroy. The clowns. The fucking clown. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to make sure, because because I'm going to take this list, I want to pass this up the chain to make sure they're even interested, but I, I but I need to pass it along the chain, and, and hopefully, as many of these people as possible can get considered, you know? Oh, this makes me happy! Yeah. Listen, I don't even care that it's 10 people across three shifts. Yeah. The, the three, four, maybe, potential additional FTOs. Oh my gosh, that'd be so good. Obviously, nothing is set in stone yet. That at least makes me excited. Very excited that it's being yeah. considered. Yeah, and uh, oh, another name I forgot. Uh, who died um, and gave this man there FTO? Was always his Hello, um, <laughs> Howdy Duncan. Sorry, it's it's day oh, shit show today. All right, let's go to the cool room. But you know what? This is one of them good shit shows, Duncan. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the person I had called uh, got tired because I thought we thought it was gonna be fifteen minutes. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. But it's okay. I did all that. I did. I asked all the questions that needed to be asked. <laughs> That's okay. okay. I did the interview for so you. you. Fill me in on what exactly it is you're doing and what you were you you said you were gonna you got you got clearance to do. Okay, so basically here's what we're looking at. Long story short, I'm putting together a list of about ten or so fellas from years ago. Who, Each shift or ten total. He just said ten, but let's just let's let's go about ten ten to fifteen minutes or ten to fifteen people people that we're gonna reach out to, and say hey you know. This guy is a, a hell of a damn good officer. We know he's capable of FTOing. He probably needs a week to get his feet under him, but let's bring him in for a week. Are you interested in doing these things under the stipulation that you will be an FTO? You want to FTO. All right, let's get the easiest one out of, out of the way. Ready for this one? Okay. Look at the board. Mackenzie Hayes. She's already here every day listening to our radio, coming to our meetings. She already knows the culture. I, I mean, I think, hey, send it. Minerva Matt. She is like, if captain turner was a portuguese woman okay she could go and neutralize someone on, on a scene with her voice but not in a screaming way like uh she just look you in the eyes and a dead stare in your eye and go you need to stop that right now and they'll stop they'll listen they'll say yes ma'am trainer specifically let's look at shift let's look at shift two see now the pdrp is starting to pick up big time dude we already know this one we're already thinking it aaron bison a hundred percent Aaron Bison. He's already like tagged me in coach. I want to help out. He was talking to us in that one time and he was like, please just, just let me help. And you know, he's, he's a trainer. He knows what he's doing. Rhodes already filled him in on what we need done. Easy slap in. If we're going out there and we're reaching out to people, I, I've had a couple people, you know, shoot me some, uh, I mean, hell, I even talked to, I talked to Kale Sosa even a little bit. Chat, that's what we're doing is I'm trying to get together a list of so, old PD members. That's unfortunately kind of where my the the extent of um you know people i talk to kind of end <clears throat> and and have them come in and plug in almost immediately there's people i've met that train. i don't think they're old they're just out of state that i think would also uh fit the bill and that's this guy right here so yeah what about ziggy get, uh, how, how well how well do you know ziggy i met him the first day when i applied him and a few other people that applied that uh, i've not seen since um he said hold on i gotta take this answered a phone call and said goober 
Where, where do you need me? And he went to take a goober drive. I I don't know him beyond that. Okay. But that's why I'm, I'm not giving you all 10 and saying this is gonna this is what's going to work. I'm giving you about three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not trying to take up your whole list. I'm trying to take up people that I've spoken to in the last month that are waiting. They're waiting patiently. No, they're not. No one's complaining. That's the thing, dude, is I, I, I can't I can't believe I'm hammering this again. There are people that have been impatient and got the courtesy of, of you know, going through the process and rightfully removed. And these people are not complaining. They're not kicking a fuss. They're not coming to MRP trying to set it on fire. They're not shooting up the place. They're just, they, they're either doing their side jobs like emergency medical services or dispatch and they're waiting. I'd shoot for higher, but it, uh, you know what? We're getting an inch. Let's not take a mile. Yeah. Hey, uh, apparently I have an FTO meeting to go to. But no, this is oh, this is really good. Too. You're 100 percent right, Duncan. Kyle's ready to bring back those two. I, mean, I, would, I, I, would, I would love to have Kyle, Fred, and Toretti and all that. But they, I mean, they're playing on uh, they're playing on Onyx, so they they have their own thing going. Dude, I do, I do, I do miss. I mean, I, I miss so much having that crew, dude. That was so fun. It was just Wrangler, everybody, dude. Uh, we're gonna be uh, moving you up to the PPO phase. Uh, you're gonna be out there solo patrolling on your own. No one to hold your hand, and you're going to go out there and do your fucking best, okay? Congratulations, Penny. You are probationary officer of the LSPD. Congratulations, Woo Penny. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. Don't jump off the roof. Don't jump off the Don't jump the room. Oh, <laughs> you do it. She did it. She's... All right. Hey, can she's... we get 52s outside of Mission Row? <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, we, have, fair, we have 147. To be fair, she did say to me that she was actually very scared to become a PBO. Yeah, that, do not, do not, let's let's go down and scoop her up. Well, uh, we're down one <laughs> cadet. Yeah, great. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all, hey, y'all want to see something crazy? Look at this. Ready? Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, watch oh my this. God! In my eyes, everyone just took off. Yeah. Hey, hey watch this. There was an FTO meeting. You want to see a crazy one? Watch this. Dispatch 125, 76 down to the oil field. Oh, oh no. Had a tip oh, off the other day about a potential grow. Gonna go code six. Frick! <laughs> yeah, man. I, I screwed up. I didn't do it fast enough. <laughs> I, I, dude, I hit the dash. I hit the diagonal. <laughs> I tried to hit enter. I hit the freaking thing. <laughs> I got owned by the slash. I got owned by the slash. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> I got owned by the slash. <laughs> What was the highest position you ever got into? Senior officer in the LSPD. All right, and how would you describe your experience in the police department? It was like my dream come true. All of my uh, stepdads were police officers growing up, and I always idolized them. I hope, I hope so bad. I Saab is like, security, I don't know. Peace, I don't know if he's got it in him. Uh, I hope so bad. And justice uh, for all. Justice for all. It, it was it, truly magnificent to have the opportunity to do what my stepfathers did. And uh, I, <laughs> I wouldn't trade for, the, trade for anything fathers. in the world. Hmm. So when did you stop? I was called away. Where to? It was rumored that the hologram that's currently being cast on the sky that hides God from us had been pierced above Nippon. So I had to fly there in order to find the source of the breach. When did you come back to Los Santos? I felt a yearning in my soul. A, uh, some sort of calling, if you will. My former compatriots needed me. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I kind of miss Los Santos. I, I got sick of Japan, Japan too. Japan. What do you know about Japan? I uh, recently have acquired a fascination and idolization of uh, the samurai class. Are you familiar, sir? Absolutely. I mean, I use that in my verbal judo all the time. All right. Well, let's find out if you're if you're a real weaver now. Okay. Do you watch anime or read manga? Yes, sir. What's your top five manga or anime? <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen season two, number one. Uh, I have a that big at 38 Northbound Strawberry. No, uh, no, I mean, it's kind of, but not really. It's it's what, sorry? Kind of, but not really. Uh, it's kind of like a. Uh, I don't know what they say either. It's, it's, it's like a, 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 what, it's like Romanized version of a Japanese word. Actually, they are Japanese words. So, no, it's not English. I got a question for you. Why should we hire you? Why should we give you the badge back? I will do anything to make sure that this city sees law and order. <laughs> I wish to work alongside my brothers and sisters in the blue to ensure that another riot does not happen at the Capitol, to ensure that the people of Los Santos can see us with respect and dignity. Turf. Hey, I got another one for you. 
This one's for Slacks. Slacks, you know why Ooh. you need to hire this son of a bitch? Because of this right here. We're robbing a bank. There's some, there's some body cam footage from years ago. If he got picked up in the coquette or were there motorcycles? Here, Lenny, can oh, you move? I know, so I know you, this uh, one. you guys pick this guy up in this really nice coquette out here? Yes. Uh, look at this right how here. You see how he's smoking the joint and I blast his fucking Yeah, that's good here. shit. <laughs> no gun on the hostage, no other gun. That's right. Bro. That's what happens. Did you just shoot him? I and sure this, did. You see the right here? I could have blown this guy's fucking brains out, Cap. The guy took his gun off the hostage. There's only two of them. I fucking shot him in the face. <laughs> there it is. That's right. You get out, that get out. I shot right him. There. He took his. He put his gun away. Started smoking a fucking joint, son. You're under arrest. Get out of here now. You see how I let him go here? You know, I'm. You know, I always feel a little bit generous. You know, I just killed his friend. Cold blood. You just uh, you let him leave. Sure. Look at look at this. Look at this right here. Okay. You see all you see all these fucking the dumb pussies out front please. who let this guy get back to his car. All they eight of them standing out there. You breathing? Oh no! Bear. They breached the bank. <laughs> Oh, when you're yeah, cool. And then I'm immediately getting you medical, sir. Hang on. So you see that? Now that right there is an American hero, and that is why we need Lenny Hall. Right. He, he was thinking Lenny. <laughs> our our procedure is pretty simple. <laughs> if you're in a breach, you better be damn sure to take out the threat and make sure the hostage is not hurt, right? That's the most important thing, because at the end of the day, if you fail and the hostage is killed, blood's on your hand. Yes, sir. That's right. Lots of blood. Oh, I have a question. Wait. You said you were a senior in the LSPD, but you're wearing a BCSO uniform? Yeah, I was in the BCSO briefly. Oh, why the, why the change? Uh, but a bit of a internal drama. Um, I, I honestly, I cannot remember. Uh, okay. And, and how do you feel about when some internal drama is going on the PD? How would you solve it? I adhere always to the chain of command, no matter who it is. Sure. I have no thoughts of my own in, insofar as <laughs> inner drama is concerned. All right, well, good answer. I got a <laughs> like RoboCop. <laughs> and do you want to ask him the Batman versus Spider-Man question? Absolutely, ask him. Hey, Batman versus Spider-Man and why? Batman can defeat Superman, so why couldn't he beat some pussy-ass 16-year-old no. from Metropolis? No, which one do you think is better? Batman. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. All right, Lenny, thank you. Have a seat. Hey, can everybody have a seat? Please have what? a seat. Please find a seat. Duncan, go change or get out of here. Thank you. So, so people want to talk about not having enough units for things, which I will not argue with. But we as a PD need to be conscious of that as well. I, I, we can't respond to everything. So what I did today and pretty much solely did today, I only had officers pretty much responding to 911. Uh, I had three to four units responding to what they could. If I had extra units breaking off to other things, units splitting up to go deal with other shit, break them the fuck off. Be that person. Be like, no, no, you are, you are starting another call while there's a 911 call in. And I get it. There's certain things we don't respond to fucking. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to jinx it. Senior Buns hasn't been that bad. I'm gonna it say it. Not. No, senior really. buns has not been that fucking bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe in three, I'm I'm only gonna speak for my own shift. Right. Dividing and conquering doesn't fucking work with our current units. We look at the units we have and we prioritize. That is the only way we're gonna push through what we currently have, and the only way we are going to get fucking better. And that is how I manage shift two today, and that's how I'm gonna continue managing it because it works. Because if people start splitting off, one unit starts a, a 38, one unit. Uh, assault with a deadly one unit responds to something else. That's three calls started. Shit pops off. You have multiple units split across the fucking all across the city. So mm -hmm. just be mindful and just be careful. Okay, we can fucking get through this. We are going to get through this. So we have two brand new uh, PPOs in the shift two. I'd like you to say your names, please. Starting with on my right, P Penny Lane. Hi, I'm Penny Lane. And Callista Hi, Bell. Penny. They uh, today. Uh, they both just got promoted to PPO. Whether it be a short time or a long time, uh, that training happened. Uh, I'm welcoming the shift too. They're going to work hard. They're going to be fantastic fucking officers. And I'm looking forward to the future with working with them and them working with you all. There okay. we go. Let's go. Good shit, y'all. Congratulations. Yeah. I, I do have a little bit of a speech since since I, wor oh, I worked oh, really hard for this. Yeah. So I'm just going to read this speech really quick. Thank you for spending 50 hours with me. I'm so grateful to every officer who taught me everything I've learned so far, and I'm so excited to learn more. Thank you to Maple especially for teaching me how to do paperwork for 10 hours. And lastly, thank you to Bobby. My reports wouldn't be as beautiful as they are now without you, and I hope you'll be around to teach me more soon. Thank you for bringing me on as the most underqualified PPO on the force. America! Woo! America! Congrats, Belle. 
Hey, claps all around, y'all. Great job, y'all. Hello, Speedy. We care. Y'all lady. dismissed. Have yourself a wonderful what night. Amen. Amen. What about the pledge? I pledge allegiance uh, to the flag yeah. of the United, the United States, States of America. Of America. Of the badass bitches. And, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, under, God, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice and for all. For all. The bad bitches. You guys got any deaths? I have seven. I got seven in two days. <laughs> no, I, I ain't days. got none. After four days on duty. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have any roads? No. Um, roads, would you snitch on me? No, Rose would uh, never. Well, hold on. What do you mean, snitch? What, uh, give uh, me a hypothetical. What let, did you potentially do let, wrong? Let's, let's say we're riding together, okay, uh -huh. and someone's giving me lip, and, you know, we're doing a traffic stop on them. You know, I smudge the back the back light or whatever and put my fingerprint there. I walk it up. I say, hey, what's up? Uh, my name's Officer Hawk, uh, 800, blah, blah, blah. That's my badge number. And then the, the lady in the front seat goes, fuck you, you stupid, smelly pig. And I say, all right, bitch, I guess we'll do this the hard way. Did you snitch on me for that? Uh, no, because that, that that is very in line with what I would like to do, but I'm towing the line the best I can. Look, just don't okay. get fired until I can open up the sheriff's office, okay? Okay. That's the, that's the game plan, all right? And that's, I, 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 that's pretty I, much yeah, what everybody's I, banking on right now. I'm pretty uh, by the book, so you don't, don't worry about me. I'm not going to go buck wild unless provoked. I'm like a... I'm like a a cornered pit bull ready to, to devour your newborn child you want to go shoot someone before you go to bed good night mm, i want to uh, save it for tomorrow how about that okay yeah sounds good let's go shoot. Hey, what time are you getting on duty tomorrow lenny probably uh late shift two i'll leave you to be i'm gonna go pull people over and issue them citations on paper i can't Ooh. wait i love my job hey bro, um, what? there are a lot of officers on duty today bro, I am, to Rose, i'm telling you something's changed in the last 12 hours okay I think people caught some wind. To live through this town for the simpler city life. But all he found was a crown filled land of strife.